Okay, so we've created a schema. It exists, but uh, it's empty. If we're gonna query any of the tables, uh, it's not gonna return anything. All right, so next step is actually populating data inside the um, inside our schema. So you need to open the second script, uh, e-commerce data. And let's go through the script. So the first line uh, basically states that we're gonna use the e-commerce schema <clears throat> and then uh, insert value, uh, in insert into table name values. That's the statement that's actually gonna be uh, inserting your values inside the, inside the table. Notice one thing that uh, um, basically every parenthesis include one complete record. And notice that the values are actually so if we look at the customer um, customer table, uh, values are actually following the sequence of columns in that table. So for example, uh, customer ID is first, so it's uh, 1001, then the first name, then the last name, uh, then the uh, date of birth, then the gender. And because uh, the initially when we create this table, those are, uh, if you remember, <coughs> we're creating them as placeholders because... Um, and then we're linking them uh, to the uh, to the foreign keys as we create those uh, subtables, right? So in this case, we're just gonna place nulls here. We can't leave uh, uh, we can't leave anything. Um, uh, we can't leave those col columns without anything. So we're gonna place uh, null values in them instead of the values. And then we're gonna update the values as we create those uh, populate those tables with values. So we create uh, five records and then we commit, meaning that we're creating a um, sort of a milestone to which we can roll back the changes if we, um, uh, if we, you know, if we corrupt something in the next code or if we just decide to go back to the previous, uh, to the previous step. Uh, next is the phone table. Again, we populating uh, the values, the, the ones that we can, the ones that are required, and those that are not foreign keys. In, in this case, actually, we have the, all the values that we need. And the only null values that we have here are for the, um, uh, for the uh, extension. So there's only one extension for the um, customer 101, and uh, the rest of them are mobile phones or faxes. Yeah, so they're nulls. Now that we have the uh, phone table and uh, populated values, uh, we can update the customer with the um, with the values for that primary phone, right? So we use update table customer set primary phone equaling to this value, which is the value of the um, phone ID, where the customer ID in the table customer equal equaling one o o one. So for customer 101, update the primary phone value, um, this one, with uh, 1001, all right? And same thing for every, uh, for every customer ID. So once this is done, we're moving on to the email table. Uh, and this is pretty much the same, uh, same setup. Insert into email table values and then the values in the uh, sequence of the columns. And uh, um, we have no missing values here, so that's good. Uh, commit, and then now we have the uh, email ID and we're gonna update the customer uh, with email ID values. Again, because um, those tables do not exist, uh, the, the email and phone and address payment, they do not exist. Uh, when we creating when we're populating values into the first one into customer, we cannot populate those into those columns into primary address, primary phone, primary email, primary payment because they're foreign keys, and uh, because there is a constraint of them being foreign keys, and it will look for the dependent tables that do not exist at that moment. But once we created those tables, we can go ahead and update them because they do exist. All right. Um, same thing with the payment table. Uh, the only thing with the payment table, we use nulls because um, the customer name different column is uh, blank. 
we uh, all customers are using the same name in our case on the uh, their, their own name on their cards in some cases you might want to have this column because um, you might have um, company the corporate card uh, that uses the company name so you, you know in this case you would want to include that name in here also to notice about this uh, database actually in, in in real life databases, that information, credit card numbers, the security code, etc., it's um, uh, actually protected from being viewed uh, openly like that. Uh, in our case, I'm not doing that. Uh, um, uh, it, it, this is for information purposes. So, um, but just to um, uh, just to let you know. The next table is addresses. Uh, again, same setup. Uh, the nulls here are actually uh, the, uh, I believe it's apartment. Um, yes, it's apartment. So uh, apartment or suit column has two values. One is suit 309, the other one is apartment seven, but the rest of them are nulls. All right, and, uh, and again, the same setup. Once we have the address table, we can update customer table with the primary address um, foreign key. And finally, not finally actually, the second part is orders, cart, and product catalog. So for the uh, order details, um, again, we're inserting the um, all the values in the order of the columns. Um, cart ID, the third column, we did not create that column, we did not create that table yet, so it's blank. Um, it's populated with nulls, actually, rather. And also, some of the columns like um, shipping date, um, return date, and cancel date are uh, nulls just because uh, not, every return, not every order is canceled or returned. Some of them are, and those do have values here. All right, next we're, creating, we're going to create cart. And cart is fairly simple. We are... Uh, creating car ID, order ID, because the order already exists, and then nulls instead of the product IDs, because product, product, tab product catalog table does not exist yet. Then the quantity, uh, they're all ones, uh, the, this website deals with laptops, and then the null for discount. We'll assume that there's there were no discounts, so we're going to keep it at null. Uh, we then update the order details with card ID, and finally, we're creating the product catalog. So product catalog, uh, like I mentioned, the uh, columns like <clears throat> manufacturer ID, vendor ID, color ID, size ID, and unit ID are uh, technically supposed to be foreign keys linking to other tables. Uh, I did not create them in this demo, uh, just to keep it simple. Uh, so here I'm, in the schema, I did not put a constraint in that table um, for them to be a um, foreign keys. So they're just integers. Uh, so therefore we can populate that data um, without being uh, worried about, uh, you know, foreign key um, error. But I put a note here just in case you want to create them. Um, uh, they, there's a, a comment here that basically tells you what needs to be created. All right. And now we're going to run this script. And uh, naturally, we're gonna update the um, cart that we uh, cart table that we created uh, before product catalog with product ID for each record. All right, and then commit. All right, let's run this. No errors. That's good. So now, if we're gonna run the same query we ran earlier, we're getting the results. <clears throat> 